crossed the country to protest against the Queensland government's crackdown on outlaw motorcycle gangs. Recreational riders and their supporters say the new laws are a threat to their right to free association and are already being unfairly targeted by police. But politicians say law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear and the Prime Minister says he supports moves to disband criminal gangs. Elise Worthington reports. They were hard to miss as they rode to state parliaments across the country with a clear message about Queensland's new anti-bikey laws. People should be able to ride and associate with whoever the f they want. With police keeping watch, there wasn't an outlaw gang member to be seen in Brisbane's thousand-strong crowd. They're just draconian. They shouldn't have existed in the first place. It's taken us back to the Joe era. But in Melbourne, it was a different story, with club colours proudly on display. Uh, we're not too bad at the moment, but, um, but if it starts going like Queensland, it goes a joke. The Victorian government is considering similar laws and more states could follow. The Commonwealth can uh, cooperate with the state government here and potentially state governments elsewhere uh, on this kind of crackdown. In Adelaide, protesters were given a police escort as rivals came together for a common cause. This is a, a wide-ranging set of legislation that can be used against any group of people in, in the state. The Queensland Premier says their time would be better spent elsewhere. Nobody who's a law-abiding motorcycle enthusiast has to worry about these laws. But recreational riders in Queensland claim they've already been unfairly targeted by police. Licence check, rego check, go over the bikes every single time. My wife got done four times in one week. For innocent people, innocent riders, this is crazy. Protesters say if people power won't make a difference, their vote at the next election will. Elise Worthington, ABC News, Brisbane. Friends have paid